Hello everyone! Today, let's briefly talk about the differences between ventilated brake discs and solid brake discs. I drive an Audi A6, and on the rear wheels, I have solid brake discs. This type of disc looks something like this, and it's made from a solid monolithic material without any special air channels to dissipate heat or allow airflow. As you can see in the example of my car, it's a solid piece of material. So, the only way air can cool it is by blowing around the disc from the outside. Now let's take a look at the ventilated brake discs on my front wheels. As we can see, ventilated discs have a hollow area between the working surfaces. You can see the through holes, which allow air to flow through to quickly cool the brake disc. If you look closely, you'll notice there are fins inside the disc that connect the two parts of the disc. These fins also act as blades, capturing airflow while the wheel is spinning. This means that such a brake disc cools much better thanks to the airflow entering the inner part of the construction. In most cases, ventilated brake discs are installed on the front wheels. So, be careful when purchasing inexpensive brake system components. If you want to save money, make sure at least the brake disc is ventilated. Talking about the advantages of solid discs, they have a longer service life. However, a significant drawback is the disc's tendency to heat up heavily during braking. Another drawback of this type of disc is that even after the car stops, the brake disc may continue to heat up due to the lack of natural airflow. Therefore, these discs are usually installed on the rear wheels. In conclusion, ventilated brake discs are better than solid ones in terms of heat dissipation, but they wear out faster. Ventilated discs can also come with perforations on the working surface in the form of special channels or grooves. I think everyone has seen such brake discs, but they are much more expensive for obvious reasons. However, they are considered more efficient, although, for example, race car drivers don't use this type of brake disc. Car enthusiasts often have to settle for either solid metal discs or discs with special perforations. That's all for now. See you soon in the next videos.